Hey guys, so if you want to see more from me, subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment for engagement, and let's just get into it. Oh, also, my book channel, beauty channel, and podcast will be in the description, so if you guys want to go over to any of that and enjoy your time, um, do that. Let's get into it. So Joey Graceffa has once again addressed the Gabby Hanna situation. He's done this in the past, but let's recap all of that. So Gabby Hanna did a 12, well, she intended on doing like a 12 to 13 part series about everyone that has wronged her. Um, and that includes me, Rice Gum, Trisha Paytas, uh, Escape the Night, which is Joey Graceffa and Daniel Prater's um, YouTube Red show that they did, which is like, um, they were essentially producers on like a YouTube original show. And the show had four seasons. It was like a game type show, like a game show where people win. And it just included a large cast over the over the different seasons that they had. Um, and Gabby Hanna being one of the cast in seasons, I believe two and four. So her series actually never came to an end because officially, like it came to an end, but not when it should have, uh, because when she came for Jesse Smiles, people completely checked out mentally and just stopped listening to her and completely called her out. So um, she ended up not continuing her series and deleting all videos on her channel, um, well, most, except for like the music that she has. When she dropped her video on Escape the Night, she said that um, they didn't conform to like her dietary needs, so there was no healthy food, um, that her outfits didn't fit properly and hurt her, that apparently everyone on set was really toxic, that the atmosphere was really toxic, and that just everyone was really rude to her, essentially. And the timing wasn't like considered, like no one considered her time on set, even though she was on season two and season four. So Joey then responds um, in a video, but before he has the chance to respond, a lot of people go on Twitter and address it, and that is the cast of Escape the Night. So I think the first person was Rosanna Pensino, who is like the sweetheart of YouTube. Sweetheart? Sweetheart of YouTube. Um, she put out like a twit, Twitter statement being like, completely wrong, everyone on Escape the Night was amazing, the cast was wonderful to work with, the crew was wonderful to work with, it was an amazing environment, the only toxic person was you, Gabby Hanna. And then apparently Joey felt a lot more at ease. So then he posted his video completely debunking her. It was like a very long video, um, just going over point by point, everything he did as a producer to make sure that everyone's time on set was amazing. And actually Daniel Prado, who was the second um, producer, I think it was a senior producer. He also put out a video basically from his side of view, his side of view, his point of view, <laughs> um, like his side of the story is what I was gonna say where he filmed a lot of things, um, he got a lot of clips from other people, um, showed his work on set and how he got her a lot of healthy food. Um, he got her what she needed. He went out of his way to go drive to different places, Whole Foods and such, to get her healthy food. Um, he also addressed the fact that her outfits didn't fit because she would miss all of the fittings um, because she was in the studio, she was doing something and that she was completely rude to everyone. And when her time was moved by 15 minutes for a filming, she called one of the crew a stupid she was technically considered the toxic one on set. Other people that were on set agreed, including Tana Mojo, liking a few statements and other people. Then, fast forwarding a little bit to now, uh, Manny Mue and Laura Lee have a podcast called Full Coverage and they just got Joey Graceffa on and he starts talking about Escape the Night. So they drop the thing being like, hey, how is it to be in drama? Um, because we would never know. Like We wouldn't know how it feels to be in drama, but you tell us. Have you ever <laughs> had to deal with drama online? We haven't, so we were just wondering. So yeah, we, we, we haven't, so we were just curious. That's what he's getting at. We've never, yeah, we've, oh never my God. we've never had to like, we just want to know what it's like. We would like, have you had, have you oh, been through? We've just never had never. to. Mm -mm. Um, and he talks about Escape the Night. He said he actually anticipated this would happen because of her Patreon where she put out like a list of every, like a hit list of everyone that she wants to address in her series. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> last <laughs> summer was iconic. It was, Joey, uh, it was iconic. Let's talk about it. Okay, so it ha- I need I, true tea. I had an I need inkling that it was coming because- Did she, you? she posted on her like Patreon or something, like mm. the list of people she was coming after. And then um, he actually, she actually put out her video when he was on a date in London and he actually, excused himself from the date because he was so just like unable to focus on the date and he went and filmed his statement immediately but he saw that Rosanna Pensino had put out a statement already so he puts out his video Daniel Prado puts out his video it was like a few days after I landed in London mm. um I was actually on a date when no someone texted me <sighs> that she posted the video oh and I was like, like sir I'm freaking out I was like, like I gotta sir, go I'm so sorry I, have I gotta to go. go I gotta go and so I went back to my apartment. What? Were you raging? Yeah. So it, so it happened. So you were at your on a date, and mm -hmm. then you got the text. Yeah. And then you're like, I, I was like trying to concentrate, and I couldn't. It's I was like, yeah. oh my god, oh my you're god, like, oh my god, yeah. oh my god. Like I could, I I was just you're getting so worked up. Videos out. Everyone gives them a lot of support. You know, the drama community. Everyone else gives them a lot of support. So that 
must have felt really good. And he does admit that it felt he felt bad for Gabby Hanna, all things considered, because of the amount of hate that she was getting. Like, obviously, it's not nice for anyone to go through that. That does not mean you can't call out bad behavior. You can feel bad for them and still call them out. Because I felt like it got wild. Yeah, it it was a lot of support. And I did, it was weird because I felt bad for Gabby at the yeah. same time. I did. I, did I felt bad for the same time. Because, because, yeah, I did. it's like you, you don't know want... I love you more than anything. And yeah. I had only heard good things from Escape the Night. Yeah, you know, and I, I literally support you. The night. But you know what it's like I to get that hate. But still have that human re response and reaction of feeling bad. Of course I feel bad for Gabby Hanna. Like, of course she's been through it on the internet. But I also feel bad for all of the people that she has wronged. I feel bad for Jessie Smiles. I feel bad for sometimes drama channels. I feel bad for people that view her channel, leave comments that she claps back at. I feel bad for her fans that have to try and defend her um, when clearly she's like a comfort YouTuber to them and she's just messing up time and time again and it must be very difficult for them to try and defend her. Like, I feel bad for her, I do. Um, I think a human re reaction, a human response is to feel bad, but I also can see the wrongdoings in her actions and I'm willing to call them out to hopefully get her to understand at some point. Anyway, so he does say that he felt bad. Laura and Manny obviously went through the drama getting situation, so they felt bad as well. They know how it feels. And Laura does mention that she has a bit of a soft spot for Gabby Hanna because during Drama Geddon, Gabby Hanna was one of the first and only people to reach out to uh, Laura Lee and stay on her side. There is a part of her that is really good. Yes. There, like, is. She there is. is. I, she I've is. had great interactions with I've had good her. interactions yeah. with Gabby. Mm -hmm. like, she's a good person, but there's just something that it's hard for her to wrap her mind around her being in the wrong. I, Whenever I went through my drama, oddly enough, Gabby Hanna was one of the few influencers mm -hmm. that would talk to me. Yeah, same with and me. And she actually was... I, she didn't condone what went wrong but she was there for me so mm -hmm. like in that way i just see good i do see good in yeah. gabby and then i've sat back and watched all this unfold mm -hmm. and i hated every minute of it so it's like one of those things where it's but like i've you. never been a gabby basher but i think that's where it gets very tricky because now laura feels like she owes gabby hannah that's my statement not laura's i feel like she almost owes gabby hannah and she feels bad now going against her so when everything was going on with gabby hannah laura probably hasn't spoken out only because she feels like she's in debt to um gabby hannah when in reality the stuff that gabby hannah has done against jesse smiles is awful and should have been talked about like if laura really wanted to make a statement she should have because the stuff that gabby hannah did to people is awful and even though gabby hannah might have stood by laura lee it does not mean that laura lee now is like in debt to gabby hannah for the rest of her life like if gabby hannah murdered someone laura lee wouldn't have to be like i just think that's my opinion on that i don't think laura should feel bad at all for saying anything about Gabby Hanna. He does mention that people like Ro responding gave him that bit of like, oh, like I might be correct. Like I know, I know as a producer I did a good job. And before I could even say anything, Miss Rosanna Pansino. She went off. Rosanna she doesn't went speak up either. She don't do that. She, she don't do that. Up. Without, I didn't she even went ask off on Ro anything. Like mm -hmm. I, I didn't talk to Ro anything. And I saw that she tweeted mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my God. Like if anyone, anyone from the cast could have said anything, but Coming from Ro, it was She's so, so much more effective. Yeah. It's like so like like it's her because it's, it's like such a reliable. Yeah, she doesn't get into drama with anyone. She's not problematic in any way she performs. She was it's there. Like a, she, she was there. Saw everything. I mean, she made it further than Gabby, and so mm -hmm. she witnessed more things than even I witnessed because mm -hmm. of the trailers that they shared, the makeup stuff. And that's like the main thing is. Joey Graceffa was a YouTuber, but he now mainly is a producer. He loves producing. That is his job. Gabby Hanna didn't come for his channel. She didn't come for his career. She didn't try to cancel him. She tried to cancel him as a producer. That's like a natural job that he wants to do. He wants to be a producer. And he knows that he's a good one. He knows that he's a good one. He knows that he creates a great environment on set. So he just felt very wronged by her, mainly because they used to be really close friends. Like he feels really wronged by her. I am a producer. This is yes, my show. Like show. professionally, this is what I want to be doing. Yeah. And so for her coming at me with my set that represents me as a creator, mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, no, no. Like I need to Nip clear this, this up. Clear yeah. the clear the clear the name. You need to clear the air. He also says that he is willing to forgive Gabby Hanna if she just admits her wrongdoings. Like he still wants a friendship with her and he still wants a relationship with her because he misses what they had. There's still a part of me that really cares about her. Like totally. I still see I videos like of her and I'm like, I, Gabby I kind too of want, a little. Like, I, I mean, I do. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to like maybe mend this relationship in the future. Oh, but, that's really. amazing, but the thing Joey. Is, I don't know if she would ever get to the place where I think she, she would apologize. I um, think sorry. I think I think Gabby. Well, I think it's gonna take time, but I, I see Gabby. I think she's gonna get there. I think she's gonna apologize. Like whenever he sees her on the internet, he feels 
that bit of like longing for the relationship that they used to have when they were friends um and he says that if she had just said sorry and if she just admits her wrongdoings that they he's willing to like mend the relationship essentially which i think is a very mature outlook to have but i just don't think abby hannah is at that point where she would ever admit her wrongdoings i think she's gone so far past the line like she had so many opportunities along the way to admit wrongdoing and just take back everything she did i think because she hasn't done it time and time again i think now it's just a little bit too far past the line where it would be almost comical for her to go back and obviously i want her to i would love for her to do that but i think to her in her mind it would almost be comical to go back and undo everything that she has said and like basically go back on everything that she has said over the last few years he said that he's had multiple conversations with her about like this ordeal and other situations and he says it's almost exhausting to try and get her to understand where she messes up why people don't like her years before this happened where like i confronted her and it was the most like exhausting thing to just get her to understand where she went wrong like, it's exhausting to keep on trying to explain to her and she keeps on blocking it out and i think that's in his opinion the reason why she just hasn't apologized for it, for most things that she has done she's apologized a few times but not for m most things because it's just she doesn't see where she messes up so she just never sees anything wrong in what she's doing and that's essentially what you said then they move on to like other topics um but yeah it's very interesting that he's addressed this kind of like clear-minded he's had like months to think about this um and just clear his mind and like think about it and i think it's so mature that he's still willing to give her another chance as a friend like i think that just shows great growth great maturity and i just don't think gabby hannah is at that point yet where she is willing to apologize willing to admit wrongdoing and willing to mend the relationship so maybe one day maybe one day she will be there and she'll be ready and she'll regain some of those friendships that she has lost over the years but right now i just don't really see that happening let me know what you guys think about this whole thing subscribe to that bell like comment for engagement and i'll see you in my next one bye guys